Oh, here we go. Hair, look. <laughs> I was doing my <laughs> second <laughs> film in a row with, uh, with Sam, uh, a movie called The Gift. And word got yes. out that, uh, that he was going to be the director of Spider-Man. And some friends of mine would, you know, were reached out to me and, oh, hey, Sam must like you because you've done two things in a row. You should play the bad guy in the new Spider-Man movie. And fortunately for me, Sam had a better idea. But, you know, the, the producers and, the, you know, the people at Sony and, the, you know, they, they needed to be convinced because obviously there were a lot of much more high profile actors that they had in mind that would help with the box office and that they knew they could count on. And, um, so I, I, I had to go do the, you know, the, the old school classic camera test um, for, uh, for the, the producers and, and uh, was very nerve wracking. Um, and it, include, it included a scene where the Green Goblin breaks through the glass of my office the windows uh, and uh, you know picks me up by the throat and lifts me up in the air and is strangling me. So if you can imagine, I'm holding the script pages, you know, reading the scene on the audition, but then at the same time trying to, you know, pretending I'm being lifted by the neck and choked. So you reappear at the very end of the latest Spider-Man Far From Home, right? Can we expect to see you in the next installment? I don't know if I would use the word expect. When we signed on for the for the first movie, we signed a, a contract to do uh, two sequels as well. Um, Okay. Which is always, it's a, that's always a one-sided, well, not always, but I guess, but in my case, you know, a one-sided contract where you, you know, you're committed to do it, but they're not necessarily committed to, you know, use your Imagine character it. in the right. ensuing movies. So uh, it's great to have the opportunity as these things evolve to, uh, to be one of the holdovers from, from the previous version. <laughs>